Uh, hey, my name is Daniel Tung Chung. I'm an independent graphic designer and illustrator, and I'm based in Cape Town. I think I was pretty fortunate enough to have like really understanding parents. I think, especially coming from like an Asian background, there's usually like this kind of um, kind of assumption that like you should become a doctor or something like in like to do with finance. But my parents were really, really kind of I think cool about it. They they knew I was interested in art. Um, and design and I think they didn't really know what that meant either if you became a graphic designer. I had an amazing um, design teacher at school and he kind of posed a question to the class like you're in high school but do you think you could make something viable to be you know to sell commercially. Um, so myself and uh, two other students we made this like small digital magazine and it was called I Eat Soup. And basically it was a platform for like super young students to showcase their work. We didn't really know. And we, we made this thing and we made it in Flash, which is actually like outdated now. It doesn't even exist. And um, we sold it at a store called Bread and Butter, which there used to be one in Cavendish and there used to be one in Rosebank in Joburg. And we managed to sell like 400 copies of this thing as a first edition. And then that was a kind of like a testament for me, like, okay, cool, I, I can be passionate about something and make money for it and I think my parents were kind of excited about that idea. Um, I kind of feel like it's almost gone full circle so from kind of being in high school and being like super naive about what design was back then, um, you know after I studied, I mean I studied at Vega and then I worked at a small design studio for a little while and then I decided to go independent so in a way I feel like I kind of really take value to where I started out and there's like so many good lessons from that time, like doing a lot of stuff naively, which I kind of did independently. Um, you know, like I didn't know how to cost on stuff when I first started um, going independent, like that you should have a terms and conditions and contracts in place before you do any projects. When I first started um, being independent, there was a bunch of people that I wanted to work with and I wrote down a list of people and I just emailed them being like super naive, like here's my work, love to work with you. Um, and I don't think that's necessarily the right approach, but um, I've always wanted to work with, with like Nike um, or like sportswear brands. Um, so I play basketball for local clubs that I've been part of for about 11 years. Um, so sport play is quite a big part of um, my work and who I am and somehow that comes across in my work and the projects that I get. Uh, but I always wanted to work with Nike on something and then um, I've done multiple projects with them which has been really nice um, locally and globally. Um, projects to come, I mean I still actually email, email out people and reach out to people that I want to work with and like probably like one out of 99 ever reply but that's you know that's fine, it's how it works. I'd love to work with like I don't know like a botanist or like a scientist or something on something. Um, it's like pointless me kind of working with another designer in the sense that like sure I can learn from them or see how they approach it but like I'd love to see how someone else's mind works that's like in completely different disciplines. I try and make an effort like once a week to experiment even in like Photoshop or Illustrator with like different techniques or approaches and stuff and I really feel like that expands the way you can create things and your knowledge of different tools. I think it's like a good lesson to say no. Like I think being independent and being worrying about when projects are coming in, you're always saying yes to stuff because you don't want to like disappoint the client or potential like oh this could be a cool project or the money, you know. Um, but I learned a good lesson of being able to say no to people. Uh, I don't know, like, I think most of my worries are just about work. <laughs> I could, like, yeah, I only get like anxiety, you like, attacks when it comes to work. Otherwise everything else is like pretty good.